April began with days of fighting between Armenian and Azerbaijani forces over occupied Karabakh. Tensions flared on April 2nd when Armenian forces said they shot down an Azerbaijani helicopter over Karabakh. Azerbaijan accuses Armenia of striking first and that it was forced to respond after Armenians fired mortars and large caliber artillery shells on civilian areas. The conflict resulted in the deaths of 31 Azerbaijani and 240 Armenian military personnel. It is by far the worst incident in the region in more than 20 years, since the full-scale war in 93 that killed 30,000 people and displaced a million others. Karabakh has been considered part of Azerbaijan since it was placed within its borders by the Soviet Union in 1924. In 1988, a dispute emerged between Armenia and Azerbaijan over the region's status. At the time, both were constituent republics within the USSR. Following a referendum in 91, Karabakh declared independence from Azerbaijan, but the local Azeris boycotted that referendum and dismissed it as illegitimate. Pro-Armenian militia then occupied 20% of Azerbaijan, including Karabakh. And in February 1992, Armenian forces killed 161 Azeri civilians in the Kojali massacre. In 1994, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Today, a demilitarized buffer zone separates Armenian and Azerbaijani forces, but both accuse each other of frequent violations. Whatever official Baku has done uh, in the zone of Azerbaijani Karabakh conflict uh, was a, a conspicuous manifestation of terrorism and uh, anti Armenian policy. <laughs> Bugün de beyan edilir ki bir tereflik ayda da bütün düğüş emeliyatlarını dayandırır ama bir şartla bir karşı tereff bundan istifade etmez. Onlar da dayandırsınlar, oturduğu yerlerde de kalsınlar. The international communities called on Armenia and Azerbaijan to observe the ceasefire agreement. None has been more vocal than Russia, which brokered the 1994 truce. <gülüyor> страны сопредседателя Минской группы ОБСЕ и в своем национальном качестве как страна, у которой очень тесные и добрые отношения и с Азербайджаном, и с Арменией, будет делать все, чтобы продвигать свои инициативы в русле той работы, которая была проделана на этом направлении в последнее время. The U.S. has also called for calm. Uh, both sides need to uh, de-escalate, end the violence, return to a ceasefire. And then again, uh, there is a mechanism in place, uh, the Minsk group, through which uh, we've been working very hard with both sides uh, to reach uh, a, a peace settlement or a settlement to this conflict. Both the US and Russia, along with France, are part of the OSCE Minsk Group, which is in charge of the mediation process. As OSCE chief Frank Walter Steinmeier likewise urged both sides to end hostilities. Turkey condemned Armenia for breaching the ceasefire. Bütün dünya bilmelidir ki Türkiye Ermenistan'ın saldırganlık ve işgaline karşı çam Azerbaycan'la omuz omuza durmaya kıyamete kadar devam edecektir. Baku and Yerevan re-established the status quo after the violent conflicts, but this was not the first time fighting broke out and there's little suggestion it will be the last. <laughs>